Yo, what is going on, my fellow weebs? Chrono here, and welcome back to the channel. So, another maintenance has passed, which means we have another maintenance update video for you all today. But before we jump into that, if you guys are new here, hey, like I said, I'm Chrono. I primarily cover PSO2 content. Would much appreciate a subscriber's work our way towards that 10K mark, hopefully by the end of this year. One other note, you know, I've had some uh, complaints recently that occasionally I'm a bit hard to understand. I do mumble a little bit. I naturally talk very quickly. If any of you guys who have followed the channel for a very long time know this or who watch our streams. So I'm going to make an added effort on top of the usual effort to slow myself down as much as possible. This may cause the videos to take a little longer. You may notice some pauses where they usually wouldn't be, but this is just to make sure that this doesn't happen moving forward. Either way, let's go ahead and jump into this. So starting off, here we are on the NGS site. In case you're thinking to yourself, why would I listen to someone else read this information to me? I can just go check it out myself. You're absolutely right. If you want to, feel free to scroll on down. There are links to everything that's important to this video itself. All of the important articles and update information you can jump right over to it. But I'd appreciate it if you at least liked the video before doing so. Maybe toss in a comment that said algorithm or got the info I'm out. Totally works for me. Totally understand where you're coming from. So that's what you're looking for. And hey, make it easier for you. And in case you don't want to wait for this video to come out, you can always simply just head over to ngs.pso2.com where we gather this information from. All the important stuff usually has a little red dot next to it. It's the new things that pop up and it's dated for you. So it makes it a lot easier to find. Starting off, we're going to hop over to the update details section where usually if there are any patch notes or any system changes, this is where we will see them. It looks like we've got uh, from the end of scheduled maintenance on the 14th, that being today, Happy Valentine's Day or Single Awareness Day, depending upon where you are in the world. Um, until the start of scheduled maintenance on the 27th, all urgent quests occurring in the Alio region have been changed to the urgent quest Halfa Lake Counterattack Part 2. Um, please note that no other urgent quests will be available in the Alio region during this period. Added drops are added drop items to major target suppression mission Alpha. Okay, so they added drops to that same. I don't know why I have a difficult time reading that. For some reason, it just is a difficult time for me. Anyway, so we have the LTQ Alpha Lake Counterattack Part 2. This is just basically giving people a chance to try out MDFA if they're not a part of that four-man group that's able to clear it. This is basically setting it up as a uh, an urgent quest that is a bit more laxed on the failure conditions. So, And it's eight people instead of four. It tends to be a little bit less stressful for people. Super fun fight. Honestly, I enjoy it quite a bit. It's just a lower version of it that you guys can jump into and enjoy. And it's going to be an urgent quest. We have season 29 for the NGS season pass. It looks like we've got Voldragon inspired units as well as Jetpack Glide in a blue color this time around. We also have Arcs Record uh, Trania Dyna Assault. Oh god, I think that's the... Uh, oh, it's for Ranger and Gunner specifically. That's fine. I believe this is... Uh, the dinosaur dude. I can't remember exactly which one it is. It's one of the most annoying enemies, I think, for myself personally, if I'm thinking of the right enemy, but we'll see when we get in game. Arcs record for field race, central Kavaris dash stage one for all classes. <sighs> I really wish they would do arcs record in a way where it would be one arcs record for like dash and one for fighting, and it would be like that for everyone. That'd be super cool. One reason we have two is because they're doing one for Ranger and Gunner for people to basically test out the changes. For Ranger and Gunner, we'll likely see something very similar when Fighter gets its update as well. A second collab with Niji Sanji. This one is very divisive. Uh, Niji Sanji is kind of uh, shitting the bed recently. I'm not going to talk too far into it, but if you are against what they're doing, keep in mind. I mentioned this on Twitter as well. Uh, when it comes down to collaborations, most of these are paid in advance. Choosing not to purchase this doesn't really hurt that company in the way that you might think it does. It actually just hurts Sega and our game itself. So. I'm not saying that you should buy on this. Honestly, a lot of people who probably weren't planning to. There are some that probably were and that everything that's been going on have decided not to. I think Skull's going to talk more about this in her video because um, she's not really covering the scratch itself. But just keep in mind that a lot of these collaborations are paid for by the company that's making the game, in this case, Sega. So if you choose not to purchase, I don't think you're really doing what you think you might be doing um, in most cases. But to each is their own. I say always speak with your wallet, choose to spend your money responsibly. So. I totally understand where most people are coming from. It's just keep in mind, it may not do what you want it to do in that situation itself. But hey, on the other side of things, the region mag looks cool. I dig it. Um, and if anyone does choose to purchase from the scratch itself, 
Everyone can make their own decisions. Leave people alone. That's all I ask. It's a lot of unnecessary uh, backlash for those individuals. Point the uh, aggression where it deserves to be pointed at. Um, either way, so got some cool outfits. I kind of want this camo, I'm not going to lie, but we'll talk about it more later. Um, I will say one thing to note is I do like the fact that vital gauges are being more used of a thing. I like to see more vital gauges uh, show up in game for uh, various reasons. So not just for this, but for literally anything we saw with a lot of collaboration scratches. We saw it as rewards for stuff. I want to see more vital gauges. So looks like the big thing right now was the LTQ, honestly. I'm um, sorry, the, uh, the LTUQ uh, that's coming up. So the new limited time urgent. So that seems to be pretty cool. Uh, moving on, we have the Microsoft Store update patch delay. Interesting. We've confirmed there's uh, that due to issues with the Microsoft Store uh, version 7.2501.2 update patch released during uh, scheduled maintenance will be delayed. OK, so Microsoft Store and Xbox is currently delayed. We're looking at the situation. However, it may take time for the patch can be released. OK, so Microsoft and Xbox Store is still delayed. That's unfortunate. Hopefully they I'm not sure if the servers are down still for them, I guess. Um, or if like, they just don't get the current patch right now. I'm not sure how that's working out. Let me know in the comments what's going on if you're playing on Microsoft or on the Xbox. Uh, reopening of the AC Scratch Modish Winter. Now, this was taken down because of an issue with one of the eyelids. Apparently, I believe that's been taken care of. It looks like the scratch will be up from the 14th until the 20th. So in case you didn't get a chance to use a ticket that you had left over or possibly pick up what you were looking for from that AC Scratch, you can now do so. Super cool. And glad they fixed that issue. The event schedule lets us know what's going on at the moment. So we can see uh, Boost Campaign Dust Laveris Oppression Op version 2 will be ending. Uh, is it this week? Uh, it's after this week, so it's not too long. Uchi Sanji Collabs will be going on for a while. Arcs Cash Super Sale Early Spring ends after this week as well. Uh, again, this is <laughs> not the best week, honestly. Unfortunately, they picked a really bad time to, uh, to show their true colors, apparently. Um, and then we have this is from the Virtual Library 24. OK, I mean, it's kind of cool. They decided to separate a lot of things. I'm not going to look at this as like I like this scratch. I'm going to look at this as like for future other collaboration scratches. I like that we're seeing outerwear separated from base wares. I like that we're seeing different colors, meaning that you can also color change a lot of this stuff. That's super cool. Um, but that's really about it as far as that process goes. I really don't want to go too far into it outside of that. Um, and then of the free stuff you guys can get just for logging in, take your free things. A lot of these things are usually sellable. So in case you don't want to hold on to it, maybe you don't want to support it. That's totally fine. You can sell it to someone else. Um, it's not gonna sell for a whole lot because it's free, uh, but maybe hold on to it till later on down the line. Uh, maybe it might be worth something for you then. But I believe that's about it as far as patch note information goes. I'm going to double check a couple of things on my end here to make sure we didn't miss anything. So give me just a second. All right, here we are in game. Now, I do want to make a quick little not comment because I felt like it really wasn't fair outside of it to, to not basically comment on this. Um, I'm not here to tell you guys how you should, uh, you know, choose your morals or anything along those lines. Just here to give you pertinent information. That way you can make the most informed decision about what you choose to do in game or at least with your money or anything else. So go ahead and I say act as you choose to. I always tell people, uh, you know, vote with your wallet is the best thing for you to do. And um, I mean, that's really about it. Vote with your wallet, but understand kind of what you're voting for is my biggest concern. Um, so up to you how you decide to do things. Overall, I have not story quest you guys can see, uh, but it looks like there's nothing really else going on. Let's take a look at the, uh, the mission pass. If there's anything interesting here, because they only usually show up a few things, but there are new outfits that'll pop up. And I'm looking through here. It looks like is it Ina's outfit? Is that what this is? I don't remember what her outfit looks like, to be honest. And this looks very different. Um, the, I think it is. I think it's Ina and Garoa's outfits is what's come back now. They have a version two for it. So I guess it's like without the shoes for Ina's outfit. Yeah, it's Ina, Manon and Garoa's outfits. Uh, interesting. So we got Garo's outfit popping back up again. It looks like color changes are, are showing up. We have Manon's outfit with this purple lining, which is interesting. Not sure how that's supposed to work out, but that's pretty cool. And then we have uh, 
and his outfit again. Looks like a different color variant. No shoes variant. I'm sure people can do some pretty cool stuff with that. Um, though I'm looking at the scratch. Let's see here. Anything too crazy? No. I'm not sure if we were at Gigas Might 4s beforehand. Let me double check and make sure. Because if we were at 4s, oh, we were. Okay, that's pretty good. So we were at 4s beforehand, so that's not too bad. Tells you how much I pay attention to the stuff that's in here. I just grab it and move on with my life because I'm going to use it regardless in some way, shape, or form. Um, as always, let me double check and make sure. Yep, special scratch ticket is here. And if we go to stage 24, here's the pre day personal shop use ticket. I'll say the same thing I say during every one of these. This should definitely be more of these in here, and it should be earlier on. Being at 24 is pretty lame. If you're going to have it, at least have it like at four or five. But if you are going to have these in here, I would at least prefer there being three of them in here, um, at least one for each week. This is up maybe even four because this is hurting not only free to play players, but actually the paid players as well, because we want the stuff the free to play players are going to sell. Um, so the ability to get a hold of this stuff would be super awesome or even maybe put it in the paid track where you have to spend some star gems to get the paid track anyway. Um, 100 star gems is not a hard thing to ask in these situations, so would love to see that change. Um, but other than that, it looks like it is a business as usual. So we are still kind of kicking back, relaxing those who want to do the new urgent quest. Sounds like you guys will be able to do so without having to worry about missing out on any other content. And that's all I've got for you guys today. There's a possibility that some drops may be in the new urgent quest that we don't know about. If that's the case, totally fine. Feel free to include them in the comments below. Would love to read about them and would love to see if these drops are actually worth running this urgent quest for. Recently, drops have been pretty awesome in NGS. They have done a fairly good job with the more recent content of, you know, making it worth your time to uh, to run this content. So fingers crossed the urgent quest uh, continues that sort of trend moving forward. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to keep up with more. I'll see you all next time. Take care, my friends. Peace out.